Okay, welcome back to the last part of my tutorial about brushes. And in the in the previous tutorials, we first learned how to download other people's brushes and then how to start making your own basic brushes. And in this final part of the tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to make um, two kinds of more complicated brushes, both involving using GIMP pipe extension, which is really weird. I don't really know why they call it that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so... What you want to do is first I'm going to show you how to make um, your own brush based on an image. Maybe this is an image that you get off of the internet. I guess you could draw it yourself, but um, it's this is like what you see if you go on BlendFu, like those circles or, or something else. Like a picture that someone saw that they thought would make a good brush. Um, so for that, I already have a picture here. I'm going to make a brush of my little smiley guy because he's pretty cool. So... Um, yeah, so here I have imported the picture from the internet, I've saved it, and then opened it as a um, GIMP picture. Now, I was, I mean, I could make this as a brush just with these colors, and I wouldn't be able to change the colors, and that would be by setting the mode to RGB like it is now. But, um, I want to make it so that I can change the color of him, so I could have like a blue smiley guy, or a green smiley guy, or whatever I want. So I'm going to do image, mode, grayscale. And you see that'll change it automatically to um, shades of gray and black and white. And uh, remember what I told you in the previous video, white will become invisible. Um, and black or gray, depending on how light or dark the gray is, will show up. So um, I have this how I want. And so I'm going to save it. Do file save as. And I already have it here, but smileyguy.gih. Um, GIH is a pipe extension for GIMP. I'm going to save this, um, yeah, smileyguy.gih. Um, and make sure you have GIH for whenever you're doing more complicated brushes. So do replace. Or save. And, um, here just leave all these as one. Uh, make sure this is on incremental, not random. And you can do the spacing however you want. And then, um, make a name for it, like smileyguy. And just do save. Okay, um, now, as, if you remember, I'm going to go back to my white screen here, and um, if you want to make that show up, then you can just do refresh brushes, the little circly arrow thing, and it should refresh. And now I'm going to go in, just type in the name, Now I should have my brush, and um, just like before, you can change the color of that to anything you want, um, and you have your smiley guy. Okay, so um, for the next thing, I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do with br with making brushes, and this is going to be called an animated brush. Now there already are some examples when you first download GIMP of some animated brushes already um, kind of pre-downloaded. One of them is um, this Vine. And if you, if you pick the vine brush off of your um, brush dialog here, and you start playing around with it, you can see that every time that you click down, it, it's different. It's not the same. And um, it rotates through, like, a few images every time you click down. And also, the other thing is, even if you change the color, like, it's still going to stay green. So you can't change the color of these, but um, it's still pretty cool. So um, this might be useful for, like, decorating something or, like, making a card or um, like with these vines, you know, you could use that for making like a background on something. So um, for this, um, what you what you want to do is open. I'm just going to use this uh, brush that I already made here. So you can open that back up or um, make a new a new image. But for this, you want to change it back the image mode. You want to change it back instead of grayscale to RGB. Okay. And the other thing is, you want to have the background. You want to have that. Um, no, instead of having it white, you want to have that as transparent. So I'm, I'm gonna just going to go in, since I only have two colors here, and I'm going to select the white and just delete it. And then it will change your background to this um, checkered pattern, which, remember, that means transparency. Um, and then what I'm going to do, um, so in this case, if I made this into a pipe, then it would just be this black squiggly. That would be pretty boring, right? Um, and it wouldn't have any um, alternation at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer a couple times. So maybe I'll have three different um, versions of the same squiggly for my brush. So, and then I'm going to start doing colors. So maybe I want to do like pink for the top one, light pink. And then um, for the next one, here I'll make it so you can see. For the next one I'll do, this is a little bit darker, I'll do this. 
And then for the last one, I'll do an even darker version. Okay, so now you can see over here on our brush dialog, I have these three versions in a row. Um, and so that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to save this. And once again, you don't want it to be GBR because that's just for a um, basic brush. You want it to be GIH, which is the pipe extension. Um, I'm going to name this, how about Pink Swirl Pipe. And then I'm going to, okay, so for this you can see number of cells, you want that to be three. And then for ranks, you want that to be three. Um, dep and that depends on how many layers you have. You can make a million layers. Of course, that would take a really long time to save, and it would probably make your computer crash. But as I was saying, you can do as many as you want. So then I'm going to change this to incremental. That'll make it so it goes like light pink, darker pink, darkest pink. Um, and then you can hit save, and that should not take long at all to save. Um, I'm going to go back to my white screen here. And then when I do refresh... it should load my new brush. So I'm going to type in pink swirl pipe. Okay, and now let's try this out. So I have, see? It has all three of my different styles in a row. And that's pretty cool. Um, looks pretty awesome, but yeah. Alright, so um, I hope that you learned a lot from this tutorial, and thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials on my channel.